Okay, tonight I have something new and something special for y'all playing. And, and you're going to be here and be my audience for me. I'm the test subject of this night's video. And here we have Fairway Ready to Bake Buttermilk Biscuits. Okay, y'all. There's like eight, to, there's ten little biscuits in here, all right? So this is my waffle maker, y'all. I have some cooking spray. It's got a top and bottom heated grids, which are removable. So what we're going to do is we're just going to let this baby get up to temp. We're going to spray it with a little bit of cooking spray. And then we're going to open up these biscuits prior to all that and get them like level and spread out on a little plate. And then we're going to season them with a little bit of cinnamon salt, sugar, I mean, and cook them in. We're going to see how they come out here. Maybe... This would be something y'all could try at home if you have a waffle maker. I like trying little new things here just to see what happens. Some y'all may say this looks kind of like a dangerous situation here. Cord. And uh, oh, sorry about that, my camera's buffering. It's plugged into a GFC fault plug. The wire is that way, it's off, it's not leaking, everything's dry. So we set up our board here. So we have our, our cooking biscuits, so they're going to be the test subject. Here's what I use for cooking spray. We get this at Fairway, and it's very much comparable to the name brand. It does exactly what it says. It's non-stick vegetable. It has got a little bit of a bird flavor to it. They're indicated by the cap on the bottle, obviously. And that night right there is because it goes there, because over here we have another one, and they're light sensitive. Some of you may notice they got black tape. I did that on purpose so that they don't flicker because I see it out of the corner of my eyes and it bugs me. I did all those dishes tonight. They're all clean. So, our uh, waffle maker is not quite up to temp. This is so old. This is the uh, standby and this is the cook. So when this light goes out, I know I always say you no know, when it's on it's ready to cook. This particular waffle maker cycles backwards. At least I think it does. Uh, when that light goes out, it's ready. And it would, uh, it was, this was the green one. You know. Yeah, and this was the red one. We've had this waffle maker for the better part of 12 years, so. So, uh, let's open her up. This doesn't tell anymore here. Let's uh, spray some cooking spray. Okay, let's spray the top grids. All right, let's close this up. I have to pause the video a moment. Hold on, everybody. Okay, everybody, so now the biscuits are open. I have my plate here, so let's take some of our homemade. I uh, put uh, cinnamon ground cinnamon powder here and then sugar, and I mix it up and then. So what we're going to do here, wait a minute, I did this wrong. Got to spray them. Otherwise, the cinnamon sugar won't stick to them, you know, see what I'm saying? So now you do that. Look at there. Isn't that beautiful? I know I'm not the best with the camera in the kitchen, but I'm trying my best, y'all, to bring you a good quality video. And I'll show you how to do it step by step. Instead of how I did my past videos, I didn't do a very good job, but I'll admit it. I've caught a lot of flack from a lot of viewers over the years. And I'm glad that you took the time out of your schedule and your day to come and talk to me about these things. I appreciate it. I don't see the big picture or other people's perspective, even though I do try. All right, so... What we're going to do is we're going to put these face down in the waffle maker once it's in so that we can season the side that isn't uh, seasoned already, okay? So let's open this bad boy up. And I'm going to lay them all in. I'm going to pause this while I lay them all in. And then I'm going to come back and I'm going to season them. And we're going to pull the lid down and wait. All right, I didn't want to overload it, so I put two per grid. And we'll put our seasoning up in there. It's open, it's not going to hurt nothing. Uh, you want to make sure you're within the grid pattern. Otherwise, it'll deform them. So here we go. Let's pull down the top everybody, and then we'll give it a five-minute time to cook. 
and the colors nice and tight just like I live with a waffle. So, these next ones when I make them, I'm going to see if I can get them to form as one in the grid. So, let's see our timer. We are at now 5 minutes and 12 seconds. I'm going to pause it for 5 minutes and we'll come right back. Alright everybody, check this out. <coughs> this is... Uh, so this is two biscuits, and you can see right down the middle here where they join together, right on this seam here where it's bubbled inwards. But man, look at that. That is a healthy sized omelet. And it smells just absolutely delightful. This one here, same story. Look at how perfectly golden brown that is. You know what I'm going to do there, y'all? I'm going to dig up some of my pre bred chicken sandwiches out the freezer. I'm going to heat a bad, couple of them bad boys up. And I'm going to have me some chicken and waffles here. And we're going to use that here to collect this video. This is probably be about 10 minute to 11 minute long video, y'all. This is going to be a long play. I hope y'all are ready for this. I hope y'all enjoy it. I hope maybe I inspire y'all to try something like this. Uh, that's primarily why I'm here. Review products so you know what it's like. At least have an idea. You can decide prior to, to purchase something you really want to purchase or not. Uh, and our other is to try new things and to share some of our home family recipes, our home cooking family recipes, which we're headed down for generations and so here we go I'll quit yib yammering rambling we're gonna let this bad boy finish out these are two waffles as soon as that light comes back on they'll be done so meanwhile I'm gonna heat up the chicken sandwiches so we can get the waffles on with them alright everybody so here's the difference here's three waffles in a grid so there's the two three waffles one right here this is the two so look at the difference in size I kind of had to manipulate these to be close enough to join forces but they did do it and our chicken is just about 20 seconds out I put too much time on there but rest assured they're just about done and these are Swanson uh, breaded chicken breast fillets and they're really good so let's hold on Everybody, so here's what I decided to do. We're going to use the three biscuit uh, waffle for the bottom. We're going to add a secret ingredient to the top. We're going to add some butter flavored maple syrup. And this is a family bread also. You don't need to go overboard. Just fill them in, not even halfway. And do the same repeat on the other one. Because there's two sandwiches here, everybody. And then you can go over here and go like this if you so desire. Right in the middle. Don't spread it out. The reason I say it is because when the top moves around, it's going to spread it anyway. So, here goes nothing, everybody. This is the first time here at It's a Real Thing Every Day channel. Where we strive to bring the latest and, uh, kitchen innovative ideas and dinners and so what and so forth all right here is the moment of truth let's give these homemade chicken and waffle sandwiches a try and the bottom one broke loose already so let's hope it well how about we just do this we'll go to sandwich number two instead all right, let's find a good bite where we can get a little bit of everything. It looks like it's going to be right here, so hold on. Yum, yum, yum. Mm. All right, hey, man. I appreciate it for that last little clip there with that shaky camera. Didn't mean to 
mean the record enjoy your viewing experience. It's been a long day, everybody. I'm really tired. All right, y'all. So what the deal is is we're gonna have one more bite of this bad man pajama. And then we're gonna conclude this video. All right, hold up. All right, so here it is. Mmm. Those black, uh, biscuits make a fantastic waffle. Better than any waffle mix I've tried to date. Real talk. Mm, that's some. That's a word right there. So be sure to check out our other playlist. Um, I think this one will probably go on the cooking, but it might be on the other one. Uh, so we'll see what happens. Specialty sandwiches and fast food. That's the playlist this is going to. There you have it. I remembered it. Uh, please drop a comment down below. We'd love to hear from you. If you haven't already, consider becoming a subscriber to the channel. We're all in this scary way. It's free. Let's help each other grow. It only takes one second to hit that button. And if for some reason you see content on the channel you don't like, you're free to unsubscribe anytime. No hard feelings. Uh, so, that's it. There you have it. Uh, that's all I got for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it helped you. If you have any questions, please feel free to comment to me down below, and I will get back to you most urgently. Urgently. So, peace out. God bless. And we'll holler at y'all later. Bye-bye.